Hey folks, so I had a great signing ceremony last night with a lovely couple, one of my clients, one of the um, two was born in 1932, so celebrated his 91st birthday this year, gave me a beautiful pen, says, I'm still kicking, thank God. But listen, so his family, his children, his adult children, I love this filter, his adult children were the ones who approached me about the planning process, which cued me to talk a little bit about approaching family members, talking to loved ones about planning. This actually came up during Ask a Professional Day this weekend at First Baptist Glenarden Church, First Baptist Church Glenarden. And so I don't think there's a coincidence there. Talking to family members, talking to loved ones about estate planning, there are two things we can control, external factors and internal factors, all right? Um, external factors are going to be things like where we bring the conversation up, the environment we bring it up in, respecting people's privacy, making sure that we're mindful of how other people feel, not just about how we feel about talking about it. So is at the dinner table a good time or should it be something in a more private atmosphere? Who should we include in the conversation? Is everybody here? Everybody relevant to the conversation here? Are there people we should exclude in order to make sure we can make it through the conversation? Are there people who are disruptive to the process maybe should be addressed at another time? Setting time limits, setting a timer. These are emotional conversations. And even though we don't think so going in, setting a timer, setting a time limit is very helpful to make sure things don't become too much and people don't get exacerbated with the topics in the conversation. All right. Making sure that we're, we're just basically setting a tone that's helpful and conducive to talking about things. All right. Those are external factors that we can control. Internal factors that we can control are more about where we're coming from for the purposes of the conversation. So that's going to be things like um, making sure that we're coming from a loving, sincere place. So mom and dad, I really would like to have this conversation with you because I want to make sure that I am prepared to take care of you if and when it becomes necessary. Mom and dad, I want to make sure that um, I know what your wishes are and how you want to be respected and, and, and cared for. Sister, uh, I see that you have those minor children. I want to make sure that uh, I'm prepared to step in and help you in the event that you are incapacitated or something happens to you. Whoever you're talking to about it. Parents with adult children. Hey, you're 18. You know, I can't really help you if you get into trouble out there in college and maybe we should put a medical advance directive and a power of attorney in place for you so I can help you. I love you. All right. Making sure that you have information about the process that's helpful. And that's going to be beyond watching TikTok videos like this, but actually going and talking to an attorney. If you don't want to pay for a consultation or if you can't find an unpaid consultation, maybe attending a estate planning seminar. Getting information from a reputable place, I guess is what I'm trying to say, not that this TikTok video isn't reputable. However, it's not the full information and I'm not talking specifically about what you need for your case. So it's helpful to find that information out and making sure that hopefully, if possible, you've taken steps to do your own planning. So you can talk about from a personal place about what it's like making sure your own affairs are in order so you're not talking from a place of, is it hypocrisy, I guess? <laughs> making sure your own affairs are in order first so you can not only talk from that place, from an honest place, but also so you can offer um, insight, experience, and guidance about what it's like in case there's any misconceptions, misapprehensions um, about what it's like or taking the first step and then that helps them get to that to that place. So we can't control everything. Let's focus on what we can control, external factors and internal factors. Make sure your own affairs are in order and then grab a friend, grab a loved one and help them make sure they get their affairs in order as well. Mwah. Love you.